Hey you, welcome to my first drawing with the calligraphy speedball pen. Now, this is a fountain pen and I've used it before, but I'm really glad to be using it once again. And this is the first piece of artwork created for 2021. So hey, I'm excited to have you here. So how are you and welcome. Now, this is very satisfying to do because it's just really free flowing. As you can see, I'm just kind of randomly picking things to draw some lines and really just randomness and i really enjoy doing that and uh, no specific method to my madness and just having some fun now this pen comes with three different colors and uh using the blue one here also i need to tell you that the nib is uh, 1.1 millimeter and but it also comes with two other nibs and eventually i'm going to get to the point where i use the other ones but for now i wanted to test this out so normally you will use this pen to do writing so you do some letters and stuff like that calligraphy related but here i'm using it to do some artwork and let me know if you guys ever seen a fountain pen used to do some artwork uh, if you have let me know in the comments and tell me so one of the inspirations for this is peter draws if you never heard of peter draws he's a youtuber who is an amazing artist and he is a lot of the reasons why i decided to give this a try and uh, it's been quite a while since i did some artwork so hey uh, if you're seeing this for the first time and you're wondering what in the world's going on with the channel because of the fact that i normally do paranormal stuff right but uh today we're just going to do some artwork and i hope you guys like it uh, please give me some comments and, and you know let me know if you like this design i really didn't put that much thought into it other than just letting the lines form themselves i did put a little rough sketch underneath it with pencil and then i just started in the middle and just kind of worked my way out and uh you know, just free-flowing, letting your mind just run wild and create some lines and circles and some triangles and then some waves. And there's all kinds of different things happening here. And I'm very excited to use this. Uh, there's going to be other pens that are going to be coming up in the future that I've actually had for a while. And I've just been, never been able to test it out. So I'm very excited to share this with you guys. And uh, yeah, tell me if you enjoy this. Now, one of the things about this nib is the fact that you can have really thin lines and then you can have some really wide lines with it. Uh, something that I'm not really used to. And uh, it was very interesting to be able to use both of them randomly as well as I was going. So you can see these straight lines that I'm doing and different widths. And I really enjoy it. So guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoy this. I'm um, coming up to the end. Also, by the way, let me know if you enjoy the two angles here. I used an overhead camera, and then I used the side camera. The side camera is actually the action camera, and then on top, I'm using the Sony camera. I'm using two light sources, but I think I might actually need a third light source because the Yi camera wasn't uh, picking up the lights. I had to really, like, in the editing, I had to turn up. The brightness quite a bit so i might use an extra light so by the way you guys recommend some lights to me let me know uh, i've seen some different ones to showcase artwork and uh you know i'm glad to be back doing this because this is something i was doing on the channel before and um you know i kind of lost track and i started doing more photography stuff so i'm really enjoying doing this for you guys and uh yeah let me know what you think let me know what you enjoy most about this drawing uh do you guys like this dialogue and me explaining what i'm going through and uh, i really enjoy using this pen so stay tuned i'm gonna have uh more coming up and uh we'll, we'll take a look at the different nibs all right guys take care bye